Hi, I'm Mark Frizzat. I am an opera stage director and I also teach acting uh, and coach opera singers in my New York studio. And I thought it was time for me to kind of reach out and uh, widen the scope of my insights into these various opera characters. And I thought I would look at uh, some of the more problem characters. And I'm gonna start off today with um, Mikaela from Bizet's Carmen. Now, stuff you need to know about Mikaela before we get into the aria, because you see the problem that I'm always presented with with Mikaela is the singer wants to sing the aria as if Mikaela is very afraid. Yes, yes, I know, if you're a soprano and you know the aria, you're now going to tell me, but she says, au fond du coeur, je meurs de froid. In the base of my heart, I'm dying of fright. Yes, but don't forget, she's talking to God. She's admitting something to God and she's asking for protection. So where is she and how did she get here? And who is she anyway? There are two versions of Carmen out there. One is the original dialogue version that Bisset wrote. And after he died, shortly after the premiere of Carmen, uh, the opera was revised and uh, composer wrote very Bizet-like restatives instead of dialogue. And that's the version that it tends to be performed in the United States. There's information in the dialogue that's missing from the restatives, even though they're very good. This is what you need to know. Jose, in the first act, is talking about the cigarette factory um, and how he got here and why he is a soldier. And he tells a simple story of he was going into the priesthood and in the seminary in a handball game, he got into a fight with another guy. And in French, he says, I had the advantage and I had to leave the country. Says to me, based on Jose's behavior in this opera, he's got a hair trigger temper. He does, after all, kill Carmen, intended to kill Escamillo in the third act. So this guy, you know, he's scrappy and slow to anger, but when he reaches a boiling point, watch out. So I figure he had to join the army. He's a brigadier, which is like a corporal. It's not a very high rank. Uh, he tells Zuniga that his mother moved to the outskirts of Seville to be near him and she brought along the orphan girl, Micaela, from whom she didn't want to be separated. Okay, so orphan girl, Micaela. In some way, Micaela is dependent on Jose's mother. Um, I think it's quite possible that she was born out of wedlock. Um, probably her mother died at childbirth, a father unknown, perhaps. Um, but in any event, Micaela is now Jose tells us, 17 years old, and that his mother didn't want to be separated from Micaela, which tells me that Micaela now is probably acting like his mother's caretaker. All right, so let's cut to the third act, to the aria proper. There's a very interesting dialogue scene with a guide who brings Micaela to the smuggler's place, and they have this conversation back and forth about this is a dangerous place, and uh, the guide says, you don't want to be seen, and she says, I most definitely do want to be seen. I came here to speak to, and then she says, one of the smugglers. She doesn't say it. She's looking for Don Jose. And uh, he tries to get her to realize that she's in danger, and she says very simply in French, I'm not all that easily frightened. Then the guide goes on and says, well, good luck, watch out. Um, uh, you're, you're definitely going to stay. And she says, yes, I am. And he leaves and she says, my guide was right. There's nothing very reassuring about this place. In the Resta T version, she says the duty of her mother, that her mother, his mother imposed on her, she wants to accomplish it without being afraid. And then she launches into the aria talking about, I say that I'm not afraid of anything but in the depths of my heart, I am dying of fright. Look, Michaela is a Catholic girl. She is meant to be the contrast to Carmen. Uh, she is, um, she's got fair skin and light colored hair, whereas Carmen is dark and dark eyes and dark hair. 
Carmen's religion is her tarot cards. Michaela's religion is right there, right? She makes it all the way to the smuggler's den to bring Jose home, probably to have his mother bless him before she dies. Maybe the mother has this influence in society where she can protect him because he has become a smuggler and broken the law. In any event, she's there to bring back the man that I used to love, she says in French. And she's really there for the sake of his mother. And Jose tells Zuniga in the first scene of the first act that he comes from an old Christian family that's very, very clearly stated. So it says to me that Micaela's faith is something that she has absolutely no question about whatsoever. She knows who she is. She knows what she believes. And being a devout Catholic, she would want to not... It's called the sin of pride, you know. Catholics, uh, devout Catholics, believe that God in enables people all the time, and you can't really accomplish anything without God's help. So Michaela admits humbly that she really is afraid, after all. It's not just the smugglers who could kill her. There are mountain lions and poisonous snakes and scorpions, God knows what else. So she's right to admit that she's afraid, but she affirms over and over again, not protect me. What she says is, you will give me courage. You will protect me. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to sing this aria if you understand that she is centering herself, she is calming herself down, she's getting in touch with her Lord and Savior. He is her companion in this, and she cannot do anything without him being right by her side. She has enormous faith and that God will take care of her and he will give her courage. The only problem that she really has is that woman, all right? And what the way she decides to handle the problem with Carmen, which is what I think she really is nervous about, she says simply, I will speak up in front of her. In other words, I'll ignore her or I'll defend myself, but I, I, she solves the problem of being afraid of Carmen and then immediately reaffirms, I say that I'm not afraid. You will give me courage. You will protect me. And then she ends the aria with just a little simple prayer, which is protect me, give me courage, God. And that's the end of it. So in brief, Look at Michaela, know that she's rooted in her faith, know that her duty to Jose's mother is something that has been going on for years, and that she really is acting on her own, comes to this place on her own, finds Jose, and does indeed convince him to come back. So Michaela, like Carmen, very convicted, very strong in her beliefs, and very, very rooted in faith and in duty. I hope you enjoyed that. Come back and see me sometime. I've got a lot of insights I want to give you. Take care. Bye.